I'm Kat from the Wild Alaskan Company team. Um, if you don't know me already, today we are going to be making sockeye burgers, but we're actually not making them because they're already made. Um, so what we're learning and making today is how to cook this brand new product that we're offering. Um, I'm gonna show you how to grill and pan fry new, brand new sa salmon sockeye burger patties. Let me grab them from the freezer right now. What we have here, is the new product that we just launched last week. Um, a pack of these includes four burger patties. They're five ounces each, so slightly smaller than like a filet portion that you would normally get of sockeye salmon. So um, the great thing about these is they are pre-formed for you, pre-seasoned, um, and also very easy to cook from frozen. And I have only cooked them from frozen. It's so simple. It takes maybe 10 minutes to actually cook them through um, and they cook pretty evenly. To accompany the burgers, I'm also gonna make uh, just, well, these are, I'm not making these toppings, I sliced them, but I'm gonna make a little bit of a, uh, like a sauce and just show you a couple options if you wanna dress the burger up or just do something super simple. So the patties are pre-seasoned, like I said, with very simple spices. It's onion powder, garlic powder, uh, chives, like dried chives, salt and pepper. That's it. The rest is wild Alaskan sockeye. Pure burgers. Let's go ahead and get these out of the packages. Um, in each pack of these, there's like a couple like saddle packs. So um, I'm going to be cooking one of these on a cast iron grill pan today, not outside. <laughs> and um, I'll be doing the other one on a uh, like a saute pan. Um, but yeah, all you have to do is take them out of this packaging. I want to preheat my pans. I have a cast iron grill pan. Um, I kind of like scraped off any of the bits that were on here. I gave this like a nice clean um, surface to work with. And I've already oiled it with just like a little paper towel. Um, any sort of neutral oil, even, even olive oil is fine for this, even if you're using um, a higher heat because you're just putting a little bit to um, coat the surface of the grates. Um, so let me go ahead and get these heated up. Um, medium, high, whatever setting that is on your stove top. I don't know this back burner so well, but I think this should be medium high. So we'll check that in a minute. Um, so as these are warming up, I do want to show you the salmon burger here. So it's just a preformed patty. One side is like super flat. The other side is flat-ish. Um, as you can see, this one's like a little lumpy. This is like, that's like where they were forming the surface, presumably like on a, on like a, a work surface. So I like to start with this super flat side down whenever I'm ready to put this on the heat, because that'll give me really nice contact with the grates, like a really solid flat sear. Usually by the time you flip it, this will be defrosted enough that you can kind of flatten down the other side. I hope that makes sense. Um, um, and also I would recommend, no, you could do this like over direct heat, depends on how much you want it charred, but just like keep an eye on that. So um, let me go ahead and put a little bit of cooking fat into the pan for my pan fried version of this. I'm actually just gonna use a little bit of ghee today because it's my favorite, favorite fat to sear with. Yeah, this looks like the right temperature. By the way, this is melting. And then I think these are both pretty ready for me to put these burgers on. So let me get this other one out of the package here. Um, one thing that might, I haven't asked about, but the burgers don't have an ice glaze on them the way that the fillets usually do. All right, let's go ahead and drop these onto, uh, drop these onto their pans. So this is going straight onto the grill. This one is going into my pan. And we're just going to leave them for five minutes. Five minutes should be good for the first side to get really solid grill marks. Um, the interior is still going to be a little bit frozen, but when we flip it, it'll have a chance to cook through. I did forget to see what time I put these on. So I think I'm going to go ahead and flip them and we'll see how they are looking. Um, let me start with the pan fried method. So this should come up 
right away. And a lot of the spices in here, like the garlic and onion, that's what's giving this like a really nice crust as it hits the heat. So you can already see that from up high where you are, we're getting like nice browning. Um, if you don't want it to be so dark, uh, that looks perfect to me. You can always turn it down a little bit and kind of just adjust the heat from there. And, you know, presumably you're going to be cooking more than one burger, so you'll kind of get used to how you like them. Um, so the grilled burger, let's give that a flip. So that has perfect grill marks, no sticking whatsoever. Um, and uh, I think that's going to look gorgeous when we actually um, have everything dressed up. What I'm gonna do for um, these burgers now that they're flipped, I think what I want to do is put some cheese on this one. So I'm just gonna put that on top of that burger right now. And then for the other one, I have some barbecue sauce just from a jar, but I'm gonna brush some barbecue sauce onto the grilled burger. And that'll sort of caramelize a little bit as this is cooking. Also, I think the grilled burger can kind of look pale when you flip it. It doesn't bother me, but um, this gives it a little more color and just makes it look even more appetizing. Um, these are super delicious. I'm not going to, I'm putting this on now because um, I don't want the barbecue sauce to burn. There's sugars in here that when they're exposed to the heat, they'll start picking up color. So we'll we'll brush the other side once we just give this like a final flip um, and uh, just before serving. So I'm excited to eat these. Again, I forgot to look to see what time I flipped these burgers. I think it was a few minutes ago, but um, I wouldn't, I'm not that worried about overcooking these surprisingly, even though there's no added fats and it's a relatively lean burger compared to, you know, other burgers that are on the market. Um, I have found that they're delicious, juicy, tender. They don't get tough. Um, I've definitely undercooked them while doing this. And if, ever, if that ever happens to you, just put it on the heat for a little bit longer on a lower heat and it should be able to cook through. So I just turned the heat off um, on these burgers because I believe, I believe that was five minutes. If not, these might be slightly underdone inside, but that's okay. Um, one thing I would love to do now is post up some Buns. There we go. I've got a couple of brioche buns going right now. Um, so we have like a nice, nice way to eat these. While that's going, um, I want to make a sauce. I'd actually never heard of Alabama white sauce until this month, but it's basically a zesty, tangy, drizzly white sauce that goes with practically anything and will go really nicely with these sort of charred flavors on the burgers. So I've got one salmon burger here. I'll just put these on the plate right now. The cheese is nice and melted. So this is the other patty that we have. Two very different burgers. They're just gonna hang out here with us while we're while we're making a sauce. For the Alabama white sauce, it's a mayo-based sauce. Um, I have a, have a little bit of Worcester sauce already like sprinkled in here. And then to this, we're gonna add apple cider vinegar. So this is the base right now. Got mayo, apple cider vinegar, grated garlic. Um, and I'm just gonna do a little bit of shallot um, to grate in here as well. So this is gonna basically get this super fine so that you're not biting into like huge chunks of garlic and shallot. You know what, this grater is not sharp at all. So we're just gonna do some mincing by hand and I guess get some huge chunks of shallot after all. Um, and then to this, usually, I guess you would add in some horseradish, but um, as I have forgotten it, I'm going to leave that out and maybe just add a dash of hot sauce so it has a little bit of heat. Um, horseradish is nice just for the texture and also kind of that like vinegary heat um, that's like nice and fresh. So this should be fine. I'm okay with pieces of shallots. So we've got some of that in there, some of this minced garlic, like I said, mix that up. I'm gonna add a little bit of honey just to maybe balance some of that acidity. Maybe some pepper, 
I'll taste it for salt here in just a moment. Um, oh boy, these <laughs> these buns that I toasted are definitely <laughs> very, very burnt. So I'll show you in a minute. I'm just gonna add a little dash of hot sauce in here. All right, we'll give this a taste. Mmm, that's so good. Let's start building a burger. <laughs> okay, these burger buns, seriously, I can't eat that. <laughs> I'm gonna just do one of these without a bun. The other one isn't so um so burnt. Uh, that's pretty fine actually as well. Let me do some scraping and try to salvage this. Oh, that doesn't look so bad now. I think that is pretty edible. And for this one. I'm just gonna chop off this really burnt part <laughs> and scrape off the rest of it. That looks pretty mangled, but it's gonna be delicious. So, so let's build the um, cheeseburger like that. And then to this, um, I have the cheese already, obviously. I will add some just do a classic lettuce, tomato combo, and yeah, close it up. There we've got delicious salmon burger. Bun is a little toastier than I prefer, but still edible. So let me go ahead and take a bite of this and tell you how it is. Cooked through perfectly. Really really tasty, has a nice crust on the edges. Remember, this is the one that I seared in the pan. So pretty much that whole, I'll take this bun off. That whole side has like a really delicious added layer of texture that I am obsessed with. So, so easy. Um, and I'm not mad about putting cheese on it. So <laughs> that's burger number one. Um, uh, by the way, I'm just gonna do this like bunless, I guess. Um, because the other one is really not salvageable at the moment. Um, I, I put some teriyaki sauce on my burger this weekend and it was, let me tell you, it was delicious. Um, I just brushed it on the same way. You know, I cooked one side of the burger, flipped it, then added teriyaki to the other side um, and maybe like a little extra before serving the burger itself. Um, and that went really nicely just like as is or with some like caramelized onions on top. You know, if you just make a quick pan of that, I think that's um, a really good option. Um, so right now I have, you can't see the burger anymore because I put on some shredded cabbage, not seasoned with anything on the pickles. And then I'm just gonna drizzle on this white sauce because I know it went so well with cabbage the other day. And this is gonna be my bunless version of my salmon burger. <laughs> also perfectly cooked inside. Um, I like the textures of something crunchy with um, anything grilled, especially with like a barbecue sauce. The sweetness with something acidic and pickled, um, plus this white sauce is super delicious. This one's a keeper for sure. These are really what I've been eating almost every day for the last couple of weeks. There are so many ways to do these. They're already super tasty because they're pre-seasoned. Um, I don't think I added any salt to anything here. Really, really straightforward, super easy. Yeah, that's it for today. Next week, we're going to be doing a seafood grilling basics event. So we're gonna cover some helpful tips for you to cook any species of seafood on the grill, whether you're doing a filet or maybe something like scallops, um, whether you're cooking indoors or outdoors. Um, indoors is gonna get smoky, so hopefully outdoors, but I hope to see you there and um, live wild everyone.